So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about extension functions in Kotlin. Now to demonstrate that, let me just go back to my alien class. Now if you remember, in earlier tutorials we have created this alien class. And in fact, uh, in, the, in, in that video I have talked about a name variable but then I have changed it to skills. Because everyone, when I say you people are alien, now in fact I got lots of comments in the comment section in the earlier videos that why I call people as aliens is because uh, I feel, you know, in programming world, we are not humans because we are living in virtual world. So in, in we are human in real world. The moment you write codes, you interact with the virtual world, you become an alien. And every, every, every alien needs a skill set, right? And that's why we have skills here. So we have a alien and then we need skill set, right? Now, uh, as, uh, as everyone know that, in fact, I have Java skill set, I have Kotlin skill set, you might be having PHP, you might be having Ruby, maybe a C sharp skill set, right? So everyone has some sort of skill set with them, right? And even if you don't have a skill, a skill set, you are coming to this channel to, to increase your skills. So that's why we have skills here. Now again, I'm, I'm emphasizing, emphasizing the skills because the entire example is based on this. So let's say every alien has some sort of skill set and let me get a function just to print that skill set. So I will say function show, uh, oh, what's that? So function show will print your whatever skill you have. So I will say, I want to print this variable skills, that's it. So we got a function and in which you have, we are printing skill set. Now that's it, in this alien class, we just have this thing, okay? We have alien class in which you have skills and then we are printing your whatever skills you have. Let me just go back to my first code in, in, in which you have a main function. So what I want here is, let's say, uh, let me first create object of alien. So I will name this alien as A1. We can have any alien name. So, and then we'll say equal to, it would be alien, right? So we got this object here, we got alien object. Now, once we got this object, uh, let's say I want to print the skills. So what we can do is we can simply say, hey A1, I want to print your skills. So I will say show. The moment I call show, and if I run this code, let me just do that. So right click and run first code. And you can see it will give you the output here. Yes, and we got the output as null because we have not specified the skills yet. Now, how do you specify skills? It's very easy. Uh, you can say a1 dot, you can specify the skills and you can say, okay, this a1 guy, he knows Java. Okay, so this guy knows Java. Let's run this code now. And of course you will get the output as Java now. You can see that in the console window, we got Java. Now that's your first object. What I want to do is I want to create one more object here. Let's say we got one more alien, which is A2 and A2 is again an alien and A2 dot skills. Again, A2 will have its own, his own skills. And let's say he knows about SQL and A2 dot show. So when I print this, one person will have Java skills. One person will have SQL skills. And if you run this code and you can see that you got Java and SQL. Now what, what happens, you know, let's say if you don't know something and if you want to improve your skills, the best way is to be with those people who know those skills. Example, if you don't know Java, you know, communicate with people who know Java or be with people who know Java, you will know Java ultimately because they will talk about Java thing. They, they, you, will, you will search something on internet, right? So if you don't know SQL, SQL skills, just be with a person who knows SQL skills, work with them, you will know SQL as well. So let's say if you are creating a new object and let's say this is you, so I will name this as A3 and you want these both the skills. So what you can do is just imagine this world. What if I can simply say A1 dot plus and then A2. What you should do is, it, so you are A3 here. So you are, you are getting created because of, I mean, you are becoming alien because of the first alien and the second alien. Is it possible? Can I simply call plus on a met on this object A1? Now, unfortunately, when you are calling this plus met function in alien class, we don't have any function called as plus, right? That's the weird part. We don't have that function. So if you want to make it work, so what you're expecting here is A1 will have a function called as plus and then it, it will accept another alien object and in return, what you will get is an alien object. But unfortunately, we don't have any uh, method here inside alien which can do plus. So what we will be doing here is we will be saying, okay, no, not an issue. Let me create a alien. Let me create a plus function here. But just imagine if you don't have a source code with you, right? If you don't have a source code or maybe you don't want to touch this class, what you can do is 
you can add the functions inside a class using extension functions i mean you will be defining those functions somewhere outside example i will be defining a function inside first code but that function will be a part of alien i know you're not believing this right let me just try so you can do that okay let me show you the example here so what you can do is you can say hey i got a function and this function name is plus so this function name is plus and this function takes a parameter as alien so i will say a colon alien now a is the reference here for the uh, for the class alien and this will return an alien you got a function but then i don't want this function to be something like this i want this function to be a part of alien class now the way you can do that is very simple you can simply say alien dot plus and your job is done the moment you say this plus belongs to alien now it becomes an extension function so this function now belongs to a alien class not internally but externally and that's why it's called as extension functions so what we will be, we will be doing is here is we'll be creating a new alien object i will say this is new alien equal to uh, so this alien should be created using an alien object uh, or alien class and then once we got an alien what we'll do is we'll say new alien we want to we want to add this skill set right so we'll say new alien dot skills is equal to uh, now see you are calling this plus function from a1 right now in in fact a1 is also an alien here and a2 is also alien so in total we have two objects in this parameter you're accepting only one object what about the second object so the second object is actually calling this calling this function so we can refer that as using a this keyword again the the, the same way you do it in java right so in, in Java, this refers the current object. Here also, this refers the current object. So who is calling plus? A1 is calling plus. So A1 will be referred as this. What you are passing in the in this? You are passing A, which is A2. So A2 becomes A. So we'll say this dot skills, and then you will give a space in between, and you will say A dot skills. So you are adding both the skills in one alien. Awesome, right? And then at the end, we'll return new alien right so you can see it is working now so this function works even if in alien we don't have a plus function we can call plus function with the help of a1 that's the power of extension functions right and i know in somewhere in your mind you are thinking kotlin is awesome right yes kotlin is very awesome so let's run this code once again oh, oh, oh i forgot to print this so at the end i will say a3 a3 dot I will say show so that it will show his skills and if you run this code the first a1 will print uh, java second will print sql third will print java and sql both can you see that yes so that is your extension functions in kotlin so i hope you enjoyed this concept where you have you can have an extension again i know this was not there in java it is there in kotlin and that's why i'm saying kotlin makes java more strong so that's it guys, that's, that's it from extension functions. In the next video, we'll talk about infix and operator overloading. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.